YouTube because then I could take little clips and add them to my new channel, which is Kelly Sun Studio. If you if you YouTube, if you go on the search and you search up Kelly Sun Studio, you'll see a logo with a little sun like this. I'm gonna show you. You'll see a logo like that on the on the thumbnail or the cover. And I would appreciate it if you all would please join me in that channel because soon I will be doing more lives there, more, uh, there's a vlog that I'm doing to help uh, promote the business and to sort of give you all an insight into what it is that I do and to give you insight well, for people who also do signs or own a laser out there, they can learn some stuff from the channel and we can learn stuff together, right? So, um, but today we're gonna make something. Yesterday we, on, on Instagram, we worked on this sign here. Look at that, that's beautiful. So you all picked the colors. I'm actually not that fond of the blue and blue and red, but we made it together and that's, that's what matters. And it says, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, fear not, I will help you. And I made, I felt a lot better this morning when I woke up, to be honest. So I just wanna give a quick shout out to all of you uh, who are out here, um, I'm not sure. Are, are you guys chatting in the live? Go ahead and leave me a comment in the live chat if you're if you're here. Um, this way I can, there you go, Jelena. Hello, welcome. <laughs> uh, nice piece, yeah, it, it was a great little piece. We all worked on this together. And today on YouTube, right here, right now, we are gonna um, work on this. I went to Walmart and I found some rulers and they are made out of wood. So I'm gonna personalize them and make them um, you know, add the kids' names to them. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you are, are uh, interested in watching, we'll be here for about maybe an hour or so working on these, chit-chatting, answering some questions, talking about the other channel. Um, I wanna thank you all so much for helping me get to 50 subscribers on the other channel. I thought, you know, cause I looked up on YouTube, <clears throat> on YouTube and it said, that in order for me to be able to go live there, I needed 50 subscribers. And then I got all excited yesterday and it's, it turns out that they just changed that. They upped that to a thousand subscribers. And while I would love uh, to have a thousand subscribers on that channel right away, I don't wanna ask too much of you all. You all have been extremely supportive and extremely um, uh, giving with your time and your money as well. Um, and I don't, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna just keep asking for, for too much, you know, but yeah, for the kids, that's right. I'm gonna make one for myself too, TD Watts. You know that. <laughs> you know I'm gonna make one for myself. I have to make one for myself. Uh, yesterday I was experimenting with a few things. I tried to see if the laser engraver would engrave um, on on a rubber, and it made a mess. It left it left the laser all dusty, ugly, and nasty. Then I tried engraving. Hey, Eric Davis. Then I tried engraving on on leather, and let me tell you, it smelled so bad, like really bad. Uh, it burnt through too quickly. So then I tried it again and it didn't burn enough. So I need to test out the right uh, amount of, um, of heat and pressure to add to that. And today I, I went to Walmart because last night I ordered a roll of, of heat press vinyl. Um, and I went to Walmart to buy a t-shirt because I'm gonna test out the laser engraver to see how well it cuts letters for, for for transfers, um, yeah, the the phone worked out well because if it's okay with uh, Senor Eric Davis, I'd like to share some great news. But I, I, I need I need his okay first uh, before I I share it. I don't want to just come on here and just put people on the spot. Um, but a lot of exciting stuff is going to happen. Yesterday, I I also tested out uh, cardboard. I scored this and I cut that. And it's it's from a from a Pepsi, like, box thing, and what I do is I take these little papers that I that I buy at the dollar store, and I fold them in half, and then I make my own little notepad so that I can make note of how much heat I'm applying, you know, so that it's not just up here or randomly written on cardboard that I end up throwing out, and it takes up way too much. Uh, um, it just takes me a forever to to remember this stuff, so. I'm gonna keep note, real close note. So I'm making my own little notebooks. I used to, I'm gonna share some stuff with you all. I used to do like photo transfer on, on piece, like wood, right? So this is the piece of paper actually itself and then I put Mod Podge on the outside to, uh, to protect that. This little uh, um, 
photo. Grab it. This is a wood transfer. It's Luna. I took a picture of Luna and then I printed it on inkjet, paste, uh, put some glue on there, pasted it, let it dry, and then rubbed off the piece of, the piece of paper and it stayed there. And then I put a little lacquer, like a finish on top of that and then made it into something that I can hang. So this is just on a piece of wood. I used to love to mess around with stuff like that and I didn't even have a laser engraver. Um, I used to like, like junk, journal, junk journaling too. So I made this little, little uh, junk journal where I can put, put like receipts or tickets if I buy tickets or little photos and stuff or you know, newspaper cutouts and stuff. And it has little pockets in here to store pictures and or receipts or I don't know whatever little mementos and then I made this one as well okay so this is pretty cool so it has the same concept it's, you know paper and then it has sleeves so you can pull out and put a little picture on there and and make note just like it's called junk journaling so you basically just take pieces of paper receipts pictures that you find in magazines and just make your own little collage your little art right used to love making those. Then I started a photo journal. Not sure what this was about, but I took a picture of Luna holding the little owl that she had, just for art's sake, uh, making little notes to myself. Um, I'll share some of this stuff with you. I mostly feel on edge most of my day. At work, I am tense, and I used a lot of my energy on worrying. I worry I'm doing something wrong. I worry about not doing my job correctly and getting fired as, I, as if as if worry were the answer. I want to relax while driving. I was, I always feel on edge. I drive defensively when I feel, when I finally get to my destination, I feel at ease as if leaving, as if I were leaving dangerous ground, crossing a bridge. I don't know what that was. But as I move to work or, from, or home, I begin to worry that something unknown is going to happen to me. This was like a few years back. This is my first cat that I had. And this is what I wrote. This is Sugar. Luna and I found her alone in the street, and we assumed she made, uh, I'm sorry, we assumed she needed to be saved, so we saved her, brought her home, bathed her, nursed her to health, then she just disappeared out of our lives for, um, you know, in our lives for a short time. Before she came into my life, I hated cats. She changed my mind. I grew to love her, her beauty. I appreciated her independence. I appreciated her freedom. She taught me the following. One, things you hate, may carry something you love. <laughs> and then number two, everything passes. Number three, you must let free that which is free. <laughs> so she's, she's my little calico cat. She ended up leaving. Little photos that I took of Luna that were blurry because of the camera. Uh, you know, other little stuff. So I've always loved to mess around with little, uh, with things, you know, just like this. Just little, little things, little, memories, little things that I can uh, always go back to, saving like Luna's little drawings and stuff, which I might engrave on something later. So my point is that this laser, even though it is for business, I'm really excited about it because I can do a lot of my personal projects as well. So, okay, so I, I got Eric's permission to, to share this. So I went to Walmart this morning. Sorry, I'm, I'm like super excited. This is me, this is me excited about this. Um, I went to Walmart to buy a t-shirt a black t-shirt because I ordered white uh, heat press, heat transfer material last night. So it should arrive on uh, tomorrow because our good friend Eric Davis, and I'd like you all to help me uh, uh, thank him. He bought Cali Sun our heat press and it's gonna get shipped to us really soon. I think we're, it's arriving on Thursday. And I'm really excited about that because I'm gonna test the cut, the cutouts. I'm gonna make a shirt and I'm gonna press it, and it's gonna be the very first thing that I'm gonna press on that machine. And I'm excited because then this gives me the opportunity to, to reach out to local businesses and say, hey, if you're ever in need of, of a shirt or you know, for your business, I'm gonna make a shirt for my uncle who, who owns a tree trimming business. It, it's just, all of this is super exciting to me. I cannot tell you how I feel. Like, I, I'm a kid, last night my, my brother came at, to visit, or actually he's, he's moving back. Um, he, uh, he says, you're like, obsessed yeah torres county he's like you're obsessed with that machine huh you like it, it won't leave you alone no he goes you can't leave it alone huh? i go no it won't leave me alone i'm just testing all kinds of wonderful things i'm excited to get started so uh let me set up the computer 
And then we're going to work on, on, on engraving these. I'll show you how I, I engrave these, all right? So thank you, Senor Davis, for the wonderful gift. Um, we will definitely put it to good use. And um, we, we appreciate you so much. You've been a, a big blessing to this channel. And uh, you and, and many others have been a, a huge blessing to the channel. On the Instagram and TikTok page, you will see that I cut these out of foam letters yesterday. And I just uh, foam taped it, taped it to the wall. So those are going to be awesome. I'm, I'm going to get to sell those. In fact, let me show you something else. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I used to buy these. I used to buy letters that were cut out, like little tiny little letters. And I would do uh, little, I would put them on the, on the table with a, the little message that I wanted to put out and I'd film it sort of like a title sequence or like an intro to a video. And now I get to cut these on my own. I get to cut these. I, I don't have to buy these anymore. I get to cut them, make them custom. So you'll see those in videos coming up pretty soon. Um, if you all have any questions, no, I'm not, I, I'm not on drugs and no, I didn't drink anything. I'm not, I'm not on Red Bull or anything like that. I'm just really, really, really excited. <laughs> All right, let's go over to our illustrator and open up a new file. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I got I to gotta keep my eye. Good night, Jackie. Oh, ne Jackie, you're leaving. You're leaving. Good night. I love how excited you are, Armando. Thank you, Matt. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make Grandma some signs soon and make you a sign as well. Um, I'm. I'm just man. I can't. I can't tell you. Like this is. My brain is going like a thousand miles a minute. And I'm excited for all the great things that, we get, that we're going to be able to do. Okay, cool. So, let's get started. We're going to start with my firstborn. We're going to put Liana E's name on this ruler. Okay. And first, we need, we need another ruler to measure <laughs> how, how big our file needs to be. Okay, so we're looking at about three and a half between these two little holes. Three and a half inches by 0.75. So, let's make... Um, I'm going to turn the camera around so you all can see. Oh, and I cleaned up a little bit. It was embarrassing yesterday. All right, I'm going to face the camera here, and we're going to work on this together. So, we said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to here to document setup. I'm going to go to edit artboards. You couldn't see that, but um, height, we're going to go with 0.75. And in width, we're going to go 3.75, right? That's what it was, 3.75 or 3.5, 3.5, sorry, 3.5, 3.5, cool. So that's the size of our, of our canvas. I'm going to move it over here where you all can see it. By the way, I taught myself this, so if, if you all actually know this software and you're like, what are you doing, bro? Um, just have a little compassion, please. <laughs> please understand that I taught myself. And so I do things maybe the long way. All right, cool. So we're going to pick a font together. Should we go with like a standard like font like this? Or should we go with like a cursive? Let me know. Vote. Standard, like just solid, which I'm actually afraid that this I, depending, oh, this might be perfect, actually. Depending on the size, it might not even engrave this. Um, yeah, you need a ruler to, to, to measure the engraving of the ruler. So should we go with like solid letters like this or should we go with something cursive? Or should we go with this one? This is actually my favorite one. Joaquin is my favorite font right now to use. This one's actually called Oklahoma. We don't like Oklahoma, according to our friend Eric Davis. Oops, sorry. Ah, excuse me, I needed some water. Um, which font should we use? Should we go with Ed's Market? With Poppins? Comica Boom? Or Joaquin? Or should we go, let's see with Bible, uh, Crinks, Cranks, something like that. 
Lamar. Ooh, that looks nice too. Maglo Magnolia Sky. So far, I think I saw one vote for Ed's Market. Or should we go with Victorian? <laughs> oh, this kind of reminds me of the, of the tattoo that I have with her name on it. A little bit. What do you think, Familia? Should we go with something cursive or something straight? Wingdings? <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Let's type it up. Wing. Like that? <laughs> there we go. Arrows. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ed's Market. Should we go with Ed's Market? Cursive looks nice. Okay, cool. So we'll go with we'll go with Ed's Market. I'm gonna try to make it as big as I can without going too outside of the margin here. It's not gonna extend all the way unless I make it extend all the way. But I don't want to make to look all wonky. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. We're gonna change a couple of things here on this font. We're gonna go create outlines. We're gonna mesh this together. There it is. It's together now. But this H, it's too low, right? Like it doesn't stand out too much. So I'm gonna select this tool here, pick this here, and we're just gonna, we're gonna cheat, but we're gonna extend this, make it a little higher. Boom, there it is. There it is. Boom. Ah, better. Right? That's how it used to be. That's how it is now. I like it. Picasso. Okay, cool. So, we're going we're gonna to have to save this. Save as. We're going to go make a new ruler, a new ruler, a new folder called rulers. We're going to save this as an SVG file. And select all. Uh, and we're going to name this one Liana E. Liana E. What kind of a name is Liana E? <laughs> all right, we're going to do that. Click save. Save that. We're gonna open up the software for the laser engraver. It's called LaserBox. And we're gonna wait forever for this computer. There it is, okay. <laughs> All right. And then we're gonna go over to, where are the rulers? Right there, boom, rulers. Gonna dump it over here. And we're working on in inches. And so, I mean, I'm sorry, in millimeters. So the entire width of this, let's see, in inches is 2.57. So we're gonna go over here and convert that. 2.57. That's 65.2. Just double check. Yep. 65.2. Change the width. 65.2. There it is. We're going to fill it in. We're going to make it in power. We're going to go. We're going to go 80 power and we're going to go 80 in speed. I'm not sure how well that's going to cut, but, or how well that's going to go. But here we go. We're going to turn on the laser box and see how long it's going to take for that to engrave. And while that's engraving, we'll, oh, it says three minutes. Okay, not bad. So let's go. I'm going to show you how I set this up. Okay. Sorry, I got to fix this. All righty. So. Turn the fan off for a little bit. 
Okay, in the old laser that I used to work with, this always had a home. It would always go all the way back and here. And I had this little like plate that would go here. And no matter what you did, you would, you would just place that right there and it would always engrave right where you wanted it. But this is more of a freehand, which means that I have to do it manually, right? All right. I'm sorry I missed that, that message, but I'll, I'll, I'll see it in a bit. So I'm gonna bring this closer here. I'm gonna bring this a little closer. So what I have to do is I gotta take these red, this red crosshairs here and place it right above where I think the writing is gonna be. The writing is smaller, so it's gonna go right about here. I, I've just done this so many times that I think I've, I already have it. It's just second nature now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click framing on the software and it's gonna frame where the name's gonna go. And now I see that I'm just about as close as I am to the top as I am to the bottom, which means it's gonna be relatively centered. I'm gonna try it one more time. And notice how much distance there is up here and how much distance there is down here. I think that's gonna be good. So now I'm gonna check the distance between this hole and this hole so I can center it. We've, we've, got, we've got the, whatever axis this is. <laughs> uh, somebody help me. Whatever axis this is, it's good. Now we're gonna check this axis. 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 Okay, cool. So we have more space on this side than we do on this side. Look how close it is to the hole and watch how close it is gonna to be to this hole here. We have a lot more space on that side. So we're gonna move it over just a bit. Maybe right there. That might be too much. Okay. Well, actually just a tiny little bit more. What I'm noticing is where this line is, is crossing. Actually, is that line longer? Well, we'll see. Let me look at the space. Okay, actually more, a little bit more that way. Perfect, I think. Actually, I just realized something. To make it easier for me, I'm not gonna move the bottom piece, but I'm gonna level this to the side. I'm gonna just align it here to the side. And so that the next ruler, I won't move this at all. The next ruler, I just place it right there in that same spot. So let's see. Let's see. See, now I messed with this axis. So I'm gonna push it over a little bit, right back there. Excellent. I think that's a great spot. We're gonna go for it. Here we go. Looking good, I think. I have to wear these goggles, by the way. Safety goggles, because I can't really look at the laser uh, directly. It's bad for your eyes. Really, really bad. Not a good thing. So, I have to look at it here. It's okay if you're watching it on the camera. It's not a big deal on, on the camera. But just when you're here in person, that blue light will damage your eyes. So, we don't want that. It's interesting. It's doing, it's doing the last. Uh, it's doing the rest of the name first instead of doing the L at the same time. Not sure why it does that, but I love that. I love that. It's super satisfying to me. Okay, there's a lot of smoke. I'm gonna turn on the fan. I might as well just keep it here. This is really interesting to watch. It is. Here comes the L. Just about a minute left.
I know this isn't what we signed up for when we subscribed to this channel, but I can't go live on the other channel yet. I appreciate that you helped me get to the 50, but apparently I need a thousand subscribers to be able to go live on my phone. Um, they changed a lot of stuff. YouTube did. The eye. It's dotting the eye. And we're done. Look at this. Oh, I almost moved it. Look at that. Would you look at that? I mean, look at that. It's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay, cool. Let's go back to. Let's go back to the drawing board. Be patient. There it is. Job is finished. Okay, so a few things that I noticed is, that, wow, that engraves really well, actually, pretty deep. It needs a little bit of color, but I love it. It's fantastic. I should have put like a little heart on it or something, right? All right, let's do Lunas. Now we're gonna just delete that. Delete Luna's Luna. Uh, 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 Luna, Luna Q, Luna Q, Luna QT, that's why her middle name and her last name spells out, or it, it says cutie, because that's what she is, she's a little cutie, we won't do that, we'll just do Luna Q, Luna T, Luna T, right there, boom. Just in case there's another Luna in her class. You never know. You never know. Okay. Same thing. We're going to create outlines. We're going to merge it together. Uh, mm -mm -mm, let's see. We're going to save as... Luna, save, save. Put this one on here. Now we gotta check this size because the size changed. This one is 2.5. 18. 2.18. Let's do 19. 55.6. 55.6. We're going to go fill. 75 power. We did what? We did uh, 80 speed, I think it was that we did. 80 speed, probably. Doesn't matter. We'll leave it at that. And this one's gonna take four minutes. Wonder why her name is gonna take a little longer. That's weird. So we're gonna go back over here. And we're going to place this here. We're gonna align it. For her, just got to move it over a little bit because it's just a little shorter. I'd say that's good. All right. Come with me over here while we uh, engrave that. There's no need in you watching that all the way through. <laughs> what do you think, Familia? What do you think of this? 
Nope. <laughs> there it is. What do you think? You like this? You don't like this? Should I just stick to listening to music and crying? <laughs> crying on YouTube? Um, I'm really excited because yesterday we worked on this. Today we're working on... On these. And yeah, just... I'm really happy. Honestly, I'm really, really happy. <laughs> I know that you're like, wait, what? You're happy over a little laser engraver? This is what makes me happy. I love creating things. I love drawing. I love making little things. Um, uh, let me see if I can show you some of the stuff that I used to draw. I used to love making stamps too. So I used to make stamps out of wood, right? Hey, chiquita. I made this. My, my grandma used to love these birds, these parakeets. She used to keep them. And when she passed, I made this one here, like, um, so it's a little parakeet standing on a finger. And the chest has a little galaxy on it that I made with uh, acrylic, right? So that's, uh, there it is. Her name was Rita. Her favorite little birds. What else? I don't know why I used to draw these. <laughs> but I used to draw those too. Uh, hand drawings. So I, I guess I was, I just wanted to draw hands. <laughs> hands and trees and knives for some reason. <laughs> I used to love to make stamps, so. Just a lot of stuff. That's like, I love you too, baby. This is where I'm, ha I'm happiest, when I get to create things and either give it to other people and make them happy. I just love that. So right now I'm working on, in a little bit, when, when that's done, I'm going to work on a on the barber's on the barber's sign. He wants a 33 inch um, sign for his for his business. There is a coffee shop that reached out to me. They want me to excuse me make them a a sign. We just got to discuss how big it's going to be and all that. And um, I'll see you later. I'll let you know when I'm on the road. Okay, babe. Drive safely, please. And so. I got that. I'm gonna make. A, I'm gonna make a sign for Guitar Method. Truth Guitar Methods is what it's called, and then I'm gonna make a sign for somebody wanted Longhorn uh, logo. I think <laughs> I'm gonna make Eric Davis one. I'm gonna make. Yeah, I think that's it. I think those are the four projects that I have that are not for me, <laughs> or for anyone that I know, like close, close, like my family. Um, so yeah that's it i can't wait to get the the thermal the heat press material so i can make a shirt um can't wait to test out more wallet stuff to make a few more of these uh, notepads it's exciting so i really uh, i really appreciate your love and support and i'd like to ask that if you haven't already please subscribe to the other channel it's called kelly sun studio if you youtube it if you look it up on youtube you'll see a logo i think it's a black or white but it's a logo like that. And, um, and if you could subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Because as soon as I get that to 1,000 to 1,000 to 1, subscribers, I'll be able to go live. I think that's what it said. Um, so, yeah. I'll, I'll take any questions now if you want to talk, if you want to chat about something. If y'all want to chat, let's chat. What you got? Where are you guys watching from? What are you up to? What are you all doing? Is it done? It's done. Let me, let me go grab it. There it is. Uh, it, it's not showing up backwards for you all, right? I think it just shows backwards for me. So there you go, see? Custom made rulers. 
I love it. I could even throw like a whole design on there if I wanted to, but I don't want to. <laughs> Just keep it simple. Um, yeah, I mean, th this is awesome because it's even a way for Lianae to, to, I don't know, sell a few items if she wanted to. You know, at, at school, she could actually, she could actually be, uh, you know, if she has these and somebody says, hey, I want one, she could actually market them and, I don't know, make a little extra, a little extra something for her, for her water, drinks, for her band stuff, for, I don't know, even her graduation stuff when it comes next year. Something like that. <laughs> so... Just the, the, the possibilities are endless. Does the engraving show the same burn marks as the cutting yesterday? Um, does the engraving show the same burn marks? Um, not this one, actually. So it's probably just that compressed wood that's doing that. It shows it just lightly, just a little bit. But because I think this wood is softer for some reason. And so it's not. Uh, the heat's not it doesn't stay on there too long. Plus I went pretty fast too, so I don't know. It, it's, it's definitely not showing. I don't see, I don't see that happening. So yeah, it looks, it looks a lot, it looks really clean. It's not doing that. And um, I know that when I engraved, when I engrave, it doesn't do that. But when it cuts, I don't know, maybe I should, maybe I should test it by cutting off like just a little bit from the edge there, or maybe turning this into a six inch ruler instead of a 12 inch ruler. Um, actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm gonna take one of these. Let's take one of these, because I bought seven of them. Let's take one of these and cut it and see if, uh, see if it does that. Let's go. So let's go, oh, I almost lost you there, Familia. Let's test it. Let's check it out. We, uh, one thing that I love about this is that if you, if you want to do something, you can, you can do anything with this. Almost anything, right? But you'll never know unless you ask the right questions. And that was the right question. Sometimes I need to measure smaller stuff. Uh, so we're going to turn this ruler into... We're going to see if we can turn it into a... Uh, what, six inch, four inch? Let's do four inch. So all I need to do is grab a pen and draw a straight line, straight line, as straight as I can get it. Let's see. Okay, so it's not a straight line, but we can fix that. No problem. Oh, it won't rotate. Okay. Let's see. Delete it then. Start over again. What? It won't let me lock it. This is weird. Okay. Cool. So let's just do that. It's not straight again, but whatever. Let's go cut. Let's do... Uh, base wood or basswood, not sure which one it is. Let's do four millimeters. Speed, let's go two, two millimeters and 100% power. Let's go. This is going to take less than a minute. All right. Now let's go over here. Now in order for it to be four... Probably, that probably means that I have to place it right at the four inch. I'm gonna go a little over though. Let's do four and a half. Totally gonna ruin this. Close my eyes because I can't 
to see the blue. I guess we'll be able to see if it cut all the way through. Oh, we cut all the way through. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, it has like a little rubber piece or something that it didn't cut. Oh, huh, that it didn't cut through all the way. Okay, cool. So there you have it. Look at those burn marks though. There you go. Now if I want to measure something small, I can measure something small. And anything bigger than that, I guess I could use this and pretend this is a one. Yeah, there it is. I'll use that actually. I'll cut, I'll cut little circles or something from it. So there you have it. See, and I guessed, and I guessed at the uh, the power and speed that it was going to take to to cut that. I wasn't sure what what power or what speed, but I knew that if I cut it slow, it was going to eventually go through. And that's exactly what happened. There you go. It cut through it like butter, actually. Ugh, I gotta cut my nails. It's atrocious. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, it did leave some burn marks in the back. There's a plate, like a metal plate that you buy. It's called a honeycomb plate. I think it's what it's called. Honeycomb something. And you place it underneath so that when it's burning, that smoke has a, pl a way of escaping underneath it and not going through the side and then leaving smoke marks on there. But I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's fantastic. All right, I think that's it. Just wanted to come on here and, and make a few of these with you. I'm gonna work on some more. I'm gonna cut some more and then I gotta make one for Brian, one for um, Erica's little uh, nephews. Yes, 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 yes. All right, I'm gonna work on that and then I'm gonna get started with the barber's, um, with the barber's sign. Thank you very much, Familia. I'm gonna download this and make little clips for my other channel as well. If you haven't already, please go and subscribe to the other channel, Kelly Sun Studio. Um, I don't have a link down below, but I will add a, add a link in the description. Appreciate you all so much. Thank you. Thank you again, Eric Davis, for your for the gift. Thank you to those of you who are, are donating to um, Venmo, Venmo and Cash App mostly. Appreciate your donations. That helps me buy more materials to get tested, to get to test the machines with and uh, hopefully get started soon. Hopefully get started soon on making some shirts for some people, making shirts for you all. I love it. It's fantastic. All right. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.